How did that slip past the goalie there, Coach? I because I, I'm not in charge of uh, the uh, the DJing uh, booth, and so I guess Taylor uh, infiltrated the playlist and uh, was able to slip that one in there through the five hole, and it only lasted about. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even know the beginning of it, so. Okay. It lasted only until I started to recognize what it actually was. So then you cut it off? Yeah, we went to the next song. <laughs> I look over there to our guy, and I say, stretch. You know, I give him the old next song signal. So the, what, what is the next song signal? Just a usual, it, it's you just. No, it's kind of like the finger going, you know, just kind of swiping, you know, just kind of go to the next song. Okay. And, uh, yeah, which, which finger, Coach? Index. <laughs> <laughs> So you realize, so what did you say to Taylor Lewan afterwards? Nothing. What do you mean I nothing? I said, I hope you enjoyed it, because that'll be the last time, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. that we have it. Oh, my gosh. See, I guess that's uh, first time head coach. Uh, that's just another thing you have to control, right? Don't you think? Is the, I guess the playlist, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, we try to play respectful music. To me, that's not even respectful music. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, gosh. So what was the next song? I, I'm not sure. I, I really don't. <laughs> there's all over the place. It's, there's rap, there's country, there's rock, there's... Okay. You know. But then the Hail to the Victors is something that... Um, We're going to back burner that one. One and done, as they say in the business. Is that what you're saying? That's it. Okay. How's everything College going? Hoops. How's everything going Good. down there in Tennessee? Good. The first four you know, A's the we're, we're excited to get back tomorrow um, out on the field. Um, but it's, you know, I think the guys, um, you know, are into it. They're into the new offensive schemes, the defensive schemes. I think they're trying to improve uh, fundamentally. I think that, you know, they're trying to learn their team, teammates that are new either through the draft or through free agency. Um, and so I think that that's going well. We've, we've got uh, – we've had a lot of young guys in here that have improved. And, you know, our veterans have bought in and as far as – trying to learn new techniques or learning a new scheme. And in terms of what fans should expect differently from what they have seen uh, from the Tennessee Titans in previous administrations, how are, how is Vrabel ball, if you will, going to be any different? I, you know, I don't know because I really don't want to compare what has gone on here in the, in the past, but the same message that I've had to um, our owner, Amy, and our general manager, John, and our team, our players, on our fans since really I was lucky enough to, to be the head coach here and hire our staff was that our job as is, is coaches to make sure that our players know what to do and, and play fast and aggressive. And so that however we have to teach them and develop them and inspire them to do that, um, that's what we're going to do. In terms of offensively then, uh, the scheme that you're saying that might be new, uh, how, how, how will it be different from, you I mean, the phrase exotic smash mouth that's been in there for the last couple of years? The biggest thing for me is is that players are more important than plays, and teammates are more important than players. And by that, I mean, listen, everybody's got good plays. Right? Everywhere you go, college football, there's great plays. NFL, there's great plays. But it's how do you get those players to understand that scheme and that system and making sure that they're the ones that make it go. Uh, everybody's they're all gurus defensively offensively we've got good plays Houston's got good plays Jacksonville's got good plays and so how do we get our players to uh to, to buy in and understand and and really um they're the player they're the ones that go out there and have to make it work the Rich Eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience